Hi there. So um, in this video today, I just wanted to go through how to restore a backup um, using Updraft Plus. So very quickly, um, a quick overview. Updraft Plus is a free plugin that allows you to run and schedule backups of your website. Um, so let's just, um, I'll just take a look at a couple of things to start with. So this is a just a test website that I've set up that I'm using for various bits and pieces. So um, if we just go to the front end, you'll see there's not really anything here. Um, I'm just using some default Divi layouts for some project work, work that I'm doing. Um, so as such, there's nothing here too precious that I'm worried about losing. But I'm still running backups on this website. So firstly, let's take a look at um, where the backups are saved. So once you've installed the plugin, the Updraft Plus plugin, um, when you go here into settings, and this is the area where you will see everything. Um, so we can see here now the current status. Um, my last backup was run today. And then if you go to existing backups, it, this is where it keeps um, the copies of the files. And here in the settings is where you determine how many of these files are kept. So I've said three of my um, entire file backup and three of the database. So that's why I've got six. So you can specify that um, and make those changes to whatever you think is relevant for you. Now what Updraft uh, Plus does is separate all these files out into the different um, elements. So there's a, the backup of your plugins, the themes, images that you've uploaded, and then any other bits and pieces. And then the database, the database, which is uh, where it contains all your content and stuff like that. So you don't have to restore your website back in its entire entirety to a previous version. You could just roll back a plugin, for example, if, if a new version has caused a problem. So let's look at how we might do that as a starting point. So if I go here into my plugins area, Okay, so let's look at this. I've got this image optimizer plugin installed. At the moment, it's version 3.0.2. Um, and there's a new version here. So I'm going to just update that right now. And so we can see here it's now version 3.1.1. Um, so let's say that's caused something on my website to break and I want to roll it back. So I'll go back into settings, draft plus. Because I've got oh, so the most recent one before I ran that update is this one here. I'm going to click the restore button. Here it's going to ask me um, which of these elements I want to restore. So I want to restore the plugins. So it just gives you a message saying it's been done and press restore again to retrieve, uh, sorry, to proceed. So that's just, you know, you've got to do it twice. So you can't do it by accident. Okay, so then it comes to this page that says it's um, restored everything. Now it doesn't, because this is the free version of the plugin, it doesn't give you the option to pick which plugin that is restored, so it has done all of them, um, which is why before you make any um, updates to things like your plugins or your themes, you should run that backup, so, um, and then just check one, do them one at a time, so that if you do have to roll it back, you're not, you know, losing loads of updates that you've done in the meanwhile. So if we go back here into the plugins area, and you can see now it's gone back to that older version and it's telling me that I need to update. So it's just rolled it back to before what I had done. And that principle works across all those different files in the backups. So if um, I'd updated my theme and it, that, that update had broken my website for some reason, you can just choose to restore just the theme. Um, the database is here, um, but it's the same principle. Now there's a link here that you should probably click um, and it just gives you um, some understanding of how these, how the restore process works and if there are any problems or risks um, that you need to be aware of. Uh, the main risk, just to sort of um, give you a quick overview of what this says, is that if you have a really large website or you're on a shared server and you're, you're not allocated a lot of resources, that the... Um, it could time out midway through a backup and you could kind of have half of one thing and half of the other. And the main worry with that is to, to do with your database. Um, so just be aware that there are some very small risks, but if you do get a problem, Updraft Plus um, do have 
a help forum so you could contact them and you could contact your host as well um, but they have set this up to, to sort of minimize those risks and that's why they've got these separate files so you're only doing one piece at a time rather than trying to do the whole website at once so if you want to sort of roll back the entire website still go in do it um, sorry in here just do one piece at a time and do the database last and that way you're just maximizing your chances of nothing going wrong because you're not doing that restoration um, or you're breaking it up into smaller chunks of time but essentially that's it it's really straightforward um, and I hope you can see that the benefits of having these backups is that it gives you the confidence that you've got the the content of your website there and if in the case of anything going wrong you can easily just uh, roll things back and then work out what, what the problem might have been before making that mistake and moving forward again.